Hi. <coughs> Haven't painted since Monday. It's now Thursday. Uh, things have overtaken us this week. Uh, a lot of company, great bike rides, just generally doing nothing much in particular. So, I've just sketched out this bit of a design here. I've just got some simple buildings here. Some mountains, hills, trees, a bit of a tumbling stream here. Uh, so we'll just see how we get on with this. So I'll wet the paper all over this, Fabriano. Now I was asked about the construction of the Fabriano, but I don't really know, I don't know how much is uh, synthetic or genuine linen. It's, it's quite a cheap paper, so I, I just wouldn't know. Maybe someone can enlighten us there. A frustrated morning, I, frustrated, I, I clicked something on Facebook and ended up with uh, what I can only describe as Sanskrit translations alongside my ordinary stuff. So my daughter's been very good at this sort of thing. She did it remotely on, from her iPad. I, I tried and tried. And I even took it to, a, to one of these guys that sits outside the cheap shops and fiddles it with everybody's phone and laptops and so on. He couldn't cope with Windows 8 and my little tablet. But my little tablet that my daughter brought me is still working okay. So I was going to do a photograph that Angel Angelica sent to me but I can't find it. It's got lost on one drive somewhere. I don't know where it is. Right, I'll warm the, the painting up with a bit of raw sienna. My uh, paints have been in the stay wet or in the freezer bag since uh, for, uh, Monday. So nice and well moist. Uh, maybe we'll put a bit of bit of burnt sienna in there. Right. Okay. So there we go. Let that dry off a little bit, let it expand. And I'll put the distance in. So what we've really got is a, like a cottagey type of building. And some trees in front and some trees behind. I like my winter trees. <laughs> Mainly because they're easy to do. So let's put in some blue in the background. And then we can, well we'll complete the sky. So a bit of blue. Nice and dark overhead. I oh, loved it. Now we'll go in with the uh, blue blue mountain at the back there. I miss a bit of red for this, I think. Oh, uh, let's just put him in. And just touch that with a bit of water there. To see if we can bring it down into some sort of misty effect and then we'll go some heavier stuff on this mountain here a bit of burnt sienna with that blue and a bit of red I think oh let's just down here change the colours a bit of light because we're going to put the trees superimposed in front of those Paint around the house, but quite light colour there. Paint down to the uh, the roof. Okay, that that'll do for that. And then we'll uh, we come down here with the hill here. We'll. Just show it in a bit of detail there. Put a yellowy background here. Right, we 
just get in a bit of bit of drama into that. And I'll do some scraping on that, but that's dried off a bit. Well, not too much. And we'll have a warmer hill here. Mix some lighter colours coming down. Oops. Uh, I could do with some sienna, both siennas, a bit of yellow, and we'll superimpose some trees over this. Nice and light coming down to the foreground here. Just having fun with the paint. I'm not trying to, I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm just sort of making it up as I go along. All right, let's get that nice and wet. So then we'll put the bank the banks in. Let's do some paint spray now. No. Yellow, paint spray. With our notch in, if you can hear that phone ringing. My wife is. Okay, so that's that'll be our our water there. Nice bit of dark, so we can scrape out. And this is where we want some nice dark shadow, shadow here. Right, just we clip. Going to those mountains soon or later. Just well, well, that's in that particular state. Let's just just show some some little bits of rocky outcrops. We can put a few trees hanging on. Just a little bit of texture. Nothing much there. That, that's just about it. We can do the same one here. Not overdoing it, but enough to be able to to see that there is something going on. I will put some some shrubby foliage, bushes and stuff in that. Okay. So that's about all we need to do there. Might be a little bit over here, but that'll probably be covered up with a tree. Right, so let's put some hard, hard evergreens in now. I'm using a bit of Payne's Grey, a bit of burnt sienna, and a bit of bit of lemon yellow. One of those nice rich green. And I can superimpose some trees over that. Keep it a bit of sparkle. No, I have a clue whether this is going to work out. I'm just making it up as I go along, as I usually do. And we can do some other trees on top of that. So let's get some more darks in here. Warm darks. That's burnt sienna in with that. Payne's grey. The reflections last. Okay, so there we are. We've got some nice. Might even put some rocks in there. Right. So I'll just etch out some some trees. Just catching a bit of light. Then we can just do a bit, a bit of this. Here. Don't do what I often do, it's do all your wet stuff first and then go back afterwards, but it, it all ends up dry. So I'm letting some of it, leaving some of it unpainted. 
Okay, so that, that will show, I think, when, it's, when we put some darks around it. Uh, well, I'll put a bit of dark green uh, counter change against the size of the building. So this is just a house, really. I mean, there's uh, some photo, warm green bush, evergreen. So let's just put that in there. And that will show up as a as a reflection below it, I think. There we are. Okay, I might have overdone that bit, the scraping there. Right, okay, so that's that. Now, um, I want to put in the other bank. We'll do the tree in a moment. So, nice bit of green in here, a bit of lighter colour. Green, Bercyana, uh, Rossiana. Just to catch a bit of light across here. A varied colours. Try to avoid monotony with all this. My friend and uh, subscriber Chris, he, he the, down to uh, Folkestone, the Warren at Folkestone, and to our, made two visits to our favourite seafood store, Bob's. I said, oh, if you go there, Chris, bring me back a crab. It's a fresh cooked cooked crab, straight out of the English Channel. Probably yesterday morning, it's been in the fridge set since he came back yesterday morning. It's about a day old, but it was because it's now in our tum tums. Marvellous. What a treat, eh? Kind of homemade beer. Didn't get any less than that. Right, I'll just put a bit of dark in here so that I can etch out the card. Just a few rocks to match these on the other side here. This could be anywhere. Uh, just so easy. Right, uh, I'll put in the the house now. I'll use a flat brush for that. I'll... So the light is coming from behind so this will catch the light here. So it's a little bit of a bit of sienna and alizarin crimson. Shadow, little outhouse there, and it was a bit, bit darker than that, so I've missed a bit of paint grey into that, that uh, yellow, just to put it in there, just a bit darker. And I think because it's uh, it will it's slate, slaty sort of roof, so a bit of burnt sienna or red, a bit, bit of blue. Shadow on here. I might have to enhance that a little bit. That so might just be a little bit too. I'm quite a bit far with me, me foliage at the back there. So let's have a bit of a nice bit of that. Bit of bit of bluey. Oops, shadow there. Uh, put the shadow in. Well, that's wet. Okay. I won't put my. Uh, Windows in yet. I 
And that'll be really dark on that side there. I try to keep this as rough as I can because it looks more impressionist. That's a slightly different colour to the sides. Then I've got just to put in the shadow cast. That's there. And now we can put in some windows. Okay. And uh, same here, we've got this roof in there. Okay, that's it. Just, just a hint. Hope that bleeds in a bit. Right, okay. That's all I'm going to do with that. Um, I'm going to put in some detail now with the rigger on this side here. So I want um, some nice dark, so paint's grey. Now the paint's grey because it's been soaking away in that uh, freezer pack. Thank you Maria for the idea. It's all nice and moist, so let's just. Hmm. I don't think this, this, these small number ones hold a lot of water, and then that's why they're number ones. I'll just let those show. I'll put in more of this neat paint spray and a bit of burnt sienna. They might not show, but. Oh, that one will. So I had crab salad for my lunch today, or we did. I dashed the crab. I don't mind doing that. And we really spoiled ourselves. Uh, well, it's a gorgeous day. We've finally got a bit of spring now. So I'll put a bit of foliage on the top of this. That's why I'll do that now. I'll do that with um, some Payne's Grey. Payne's Grey and a bit of burnt sienna. So I'll warm it up. I want it nice and dark. Otherwise it won't show against the stuff behind. So let's just... show just about enough. That's about a bit heavier. Maybe the background was a bit, a bit too dark, but uh, we won't worry about that. Uh, right, I'll put in some, I'll mix a bit of blue in with the that grey mix now. So we'll just some larger trees in here behind the cottage is okay so I've put a bit of dark around this uh, bit too dark make that look green just to highlight that chimney. A little margin on the top of the roof there. Okay. Good. I like that green, so a bit more in here. Right, I'm going to have a bit of green 
I'm using the plains grey, which you don't often use, but a bit of evergreen. Quite a bit of dark in there. So let's just. I'm not going to get a lot of flicking out of that one. Shadows really work, I think it really works there. So let's else. Just flick it out. Okay. I can bring that down, I can put some branches up into that. I was going to do it from here, but it seems to be working okay there, so let's just get a bit of, bit of shadowy sort of colour here. Put a bit of, bit of foliage around these rocks just to highlight them a little bit. Okay, the bit the other side. Just the raw sienna, uh, burnt sienna, uh, lemon yellow, and Payne's grey. Good, good mix. But erring on the sides of the burnt sienna to give the warmth. There's a box a little bit. Okay, I need to dirty up that uh, cottage a little bit. It's just a bit too clean, so let's just scumble over it. Too clean in there. Okay. Well, I'll give that a bit of a. No, before I do, I'll just put in some harder trunks in the there. Oops, harder trunks in there. Just to give a bit of contrast. And some details in the distant trees. Okay. I'll give that a dry. Take your headphones off. Right now, I need to wet the water without disturbing the rocks behind, so let's just mission accomplished. Right, okay. So while that dries, let's put in some of this background. So it's predominantly dark green. So let's just
bit of blue now. Now, a bit of dark. I'll do it with a flat brush. Just to show that. Just a little bit of hints of that side there, just coming through here. It's about all that shows really. And that's probably just a bit too much, so let's just soften that a bit. That's Trace, do we? So let's just put that roof in there. Right, that that will do. Um, maybe a little bit of sienna, burnt sienna, raw sienna, raw sienna, raw sienna. A bit more dark green. some way going then we've got some nice trees at the back there that will do I don't know if that's going to be very good might have lost a little bit there but let's just take a bit of that out Okay, that's not too bad. Right, I think I could have done better with those rocks there. They don't, they're not really showing up. If I just give them a bit of a wedge, just, just a little bit. See if I can just scrape that a little bit more. I'll put it back, haven't I? Never mind. Right, I'll... Uh, I'll do I need a figure in that? I could put a figure in here. I've got to put the windows in. And the door. Uh, right, okay. Let's put a little figure in here. Sign it. Not the best I've done of late, but we're in the little birds. Okay. Put it in the uh, Blue mounts. Let's see what it looks like. Well, there we are. Not too bad. Uh, but probably is a bit dark. 
Well, I'll turn the camera around a bit, then we can see what we've what we've done. Uh, almost straight. Right, let's zoom in. There's my little cottage. Then my hill at the back. Going round up into this big hill there. A grassy slope coming down. A bit of shadow on it. And I've highlighted the cottage. It's very simply painted by surrounding with a darker colour, darker green. Here's a lot of paints grey on this one. So that is the right hand, well the left hand side from there. And then we come down into the reflections. Just enough of white showing. And then we've got the the pool in front of us reflecting the sky. Come across the other side. So there we go. Not this, to this please. But let's call this cot cottage in the Welsh fat. Highland cottage. Why not? There we go. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.